suppose this is our L4 right in the middle. You see the mm -hmm. spinous. Now slide the probe. Now when I do it, my patient is lying on one side laterally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I slide my probe from midline to one side and at the same time tilt it there, you see. You see, it is now the transfer process. This is goes right. Start from Yeah. So you can see the gap appearing there. Go up front to find the very small one. The whole is this one. No, you can find it here. Okay, if you want to comment. You know, sometimes it's not really funny. This is a blur down, blur down. Yeah. Maybe something. This, I huh? oh, just test that. Combine the water combine GA with some single injection of block, so you can minimize the anesthetic gas and you're really low concentration. I'm doing thoracotomy, so we can also do this thoracotomy, but for a T10 level and penetrate the catheter. It depends on your surgeon and what they want. Yeah, it's really more precision. Quantum precision. And you can insert the catheter. Good for pain management, so you need to intubate through the multiple catheters. Uh, yeah, I mean, because one of the spines, so you can here, you can start from here. Favor the lower or upper part of the mm -hmm. So it's better bolus first. Put some jelly here. Yeah. Also, uh, long yeah. enough inside, so you can fill the whole space or you can... Mm. That's the... It's a transverse process. It's a shadow, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that you, you don't go this way. You go medial and lateral? Yeah, you go from there, you go medial and lateral, primarily just to see. Now sometimes what you want to do, the tendon, uh, the neovascularities would be seen by pressing the Doppler. Then you do a sweep, medial and lateral, primarily to see the whole extent of the attachment of the patellar tendon to the kneecap. Yeah. This is the uh, procedure the posterior uh, So free, oh. and we can measure the distance. Yeah. 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 Oh, come there. This is more you. Yeah. 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 This is the yeah. yeah. Do you remember uh, two fibers? A lot of this will um, have yeah. to this is, uh, talk about the same thing. Two fibers that stabilize the knee. Just to see. Yes, this is a posterior So you would have to go to the medial edge to the lateral edge. I'm so sorry. Okay, I guess so. Station. You can hope you came from here or. Maybe I could. Okay. Most of the superficial. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the nerve is uh, t actually the tibia, no? Huh? Tibia, mm -hmm. uh, here. See? So this is the uh, RV. Uh, Do you have a pointer? Uh, no, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, this, you can see two vessels. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. one is uh, RV, mm -hmm. and uh, the other one is vein. Mm -hmm. This is compressible. Uh, the tibial nerve is located medially. So you have to think uh, the common pyramid joining from the outside, from the lateral side. So you have to wait to see the uh, something come tibia and uh, the, the one thing on the uh, a little bit of the upper side is a uh, common pyramid. Wait, scanning the Achilles. Yeah. The you can see the fibrous, fibrous structure on the top of that screen there. Yeah. 
see the bone yeah. metal on the, 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 the calcaneum. So that's the footprint of the Achilles. Okay. So then behind here you've got the calcaneum, you've got the fat powder on the the process would be very simple. I will go down, up, I see going down. Like yesterday, remember yesterday. We were there, no more, and suddenly here. And the static is here. And I turn. Or I do the pudenda. Okay? I would do exactly the same process with bone landmarks which are very easy and then I need to see here and you can imagine that there is a synovial that there is a ligament because that is with screw but we have ligament and we see all this ligament the facet very easy if I am like that I will be the spine process but it will be difficult on this lady because I think she is quite slim, so I will. But on fat people, we are happy sometimes to have some fat people because they have the fat which makes the contact with the prog very easy. Okay? On skinny people, it's a bit more difficult. But anyway, you put in this case plenty, plenty, plenty of gel. I will have the lamina, lateral. When you are in the lamina and you do that, you have the canal. Okay, easy. And when I go lateral, I will have the articular process. Very good. If I have the articular process, I will have the facet. Yes, only if I play and work with my pro. That's me. The facet here is like that. The facet here is like that. The facet here is like that. The facet here is more like that. So when I will be here, I will play with my pro. Okay, so first we go to Sacroiliac. And second, we will play, we will go to Sacroiliac. Take care of this. Here, lateral, this is medium. Okay? Then I go medium. I'm still at the superior iliac spine, but I will focus here. Okay? And now I do my little inclination of the spine. Okay? I go down, I go down, this is the junction. Okay? This is the sacroiliac junction. Ligament is there. Okay? That's bone, that is not bone. Okay? Then after, the problem is how... Three questions, always the same. First question, which level? Second question, what would be my, my strategy? Okay. That's perfect, that's perfect. This is here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The junction is here. Yes, but how to do? Then you have to play. Then I'm going to change my hand. I'm going to change my hand. And I'm going to be here. And now I can arrive. Look at that. Now I can arrive. And if I go like that, I can arrive also like that. Okay, I arrive 45 degrees here in the junction. Okay, bone, bone, junction. Okay, I will show you sacroiliac first, the second. Okay, uh, facet. Facet, very easy. We go medially. Okay, she's here. We go medially. That's upstairs, so that's upstairs, yes. That is the sacrum. You agree with me? Okay, sacrum, one line. Okay, I have the spinous process here. L4, L5. Okay, I go lateral. I have the lamina. The horses race. Okay, I go more. The horses, you agree with me? Okay, if I go more lateral, the articular process. Now I have to work. There is one facet here already. Okay. This one, two. Not that. Um, that. Okay. This one. This one, yes. Yes. That's it. This one, I don't know how it's the. F that is the articular process. Articular process. Tum, 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 tum. Mm. <coughs> Probably here, I'm going in the middle. This one, this one. And 
the, the facet is like that. Yes. Okay, so you have your particular process. So, spinous process. Most of the time, I'm not looking for the spinous process, I go directly to the lamina. So, I go directly from the sacrum. Okay, I am medium here. I go directly from the sacrum. Here, the sacrum. Okay, lamina one, lamina, lamina five, lamina four, lamina three, lamina two. Okay, then I go to the yes, 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 look at that. Click, click, this one. So when you when because I I, I don't know how will be the process, my friend. I, the 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 articular process. Okay, I don't know how they will be. They will be like that. They will be like that. They will be like that. It's so different. So different than in the in the neck. In the neck is totally different. So we'll do that. First, you're going to take the probe. Posterior superior iliac spine. You're going to have that. Then after tuck here, you have the junction between the pelvis and uh, between the sacrum and the pelvis. Okay. I put that for you again. I'm here. I go down. The junction is here. Okay? Very easy. And then when you are there, you can do your injection very nicely. Okay? Easy. E take care of it. Easy. It will transform the patient. It will transform the patient. Okay? You have a sacroiliac junction, strong ligament, very painful injection. It is a painful injection. Okay? Before, before they were doing under a fluoroscopy, so one time, see harm, see harm. No. One time, see harm, see harm. Remember, see harm like that, see harm like that. Okay, no, my, my, my needle is not good. Now you are able to do the puncture like that. I did an ultra VVIP. You can imagine that he was not very happy because he was the buttock open, bilateral, okay? And I was saying to him, you're not afraid to have a French man in your back? No, 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 I'm afraid. I was joking with him, but I did my puncture in one injection. At the end, it was I was not at the right place exactly, so it was... I remove a little bit, but in one one uh, one trial, I did it. Plus a little correction at the end. In fluoroscopy, it's impossible because you do like that, and then after you do like that, and then uh, except if you have a three D guidance, but there is no place where you have the three D guidance except in angio. Okay, so it's much more painful for the patient. That's why most of them they have a very very bad souvenir. But today, because I'm finding the hypothyroid mm -hmm. migraine, and I will down. Yeah, okay, so I'm just keep the probe. So I did it in the ICU and operating theater. You can use an IV cannula. That would be the best. My probe is on click. Where is my probe? Yeah, here, there. Uh, so yes. yes. So let's see. So you keep your pin there. I'll take the probe from you. Most of the other keep the pin there, take a skin marker, mark it out. And you have a few. Is that the correct spot? Single Single Okay. Yes. And always when you're holding the phone, try and rest your the depth is hardly one and a half centimeter. And that's the end of the so the advantage of this superficial uh, presence of these so yeah. is that you see the angle of impression is not steep. So it's quite fine. It's quite uh, 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 Can you just <coughs> go a little, little medium? Yeah. And now, now just manipulate the probe. 
That's the tuners. Where is it here? Yeah, from that supposed to be. Do you see clarity? Yes, it's clarity. I'm sorry, that's a... So in the transmission... Yes, and we, in fact, we put... If we put the light, it's better here. If I... It's, okay. it's a compromise, <laughs> but uh, never mind. We always lose. We always lose with the monitors. The second drop in quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the digital... See, you're, you're again, you're over the... Rip. Oh, okay, no, this way, yeah. So you have to keep it, it parallel. Yes, of course. Um, that's for sub yeah, But for this thing, then you have to be at the Because then your, your aim is to block T9, 10, 11, or T10, 11, 12. Because 7, 8, 9, they lie in the sub plane. And these two planes, they do not need the communication. They change some parameters. Oof. Come back to come back to increase. But here it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Much clearer. You will come here and then you will see it. <coughs> okay, so that's so from here. You will do, you won't do any measurements. Yes. Just freeze it and we do the. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do it in the M mode. For the M mode, oh, mean the uh, yeah. uh, uh, fractional shortening. Well, you can do that as well, but it's not a very good uh, indication. Is this another way of showing fractional shortening? So we can do M mode. And then uh, do something like shall that. I, shall I continue doing it? No, we'll just leave it here. So this is at the bottom of the level of the, the mitral valves. We do M mode. Okay. The center. Yeah. Oh, that's the way it's Okay, then? Okay, close. Then you just... Yeah. It's diastolic yeah. already done. Okay, so okay. Okay. Then, you then you just come to the systolic damage. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is the systolic damage. And then, oh, so it also yeah. save all, yeah. Diastolic, you are to store. Okay. So this is what happened. Yeah, there is that uh, error shows over here. Oh, the diastolic dimension 2.9 and then the systolic is 3.1. Oh. It exceeds the diastolic. Wait, the oh, measurement. because the measurement here yeah. was. Uh, so, what we can do that we can go to the systolic and then uh, again I just take that. Uh, oh, this is uh, this is yeah. systolic. Yeah. We need to do the diastolic again. I think that. that no, 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 diastolic is okay. I think systolic. Systolic only we can just. Yeah. It should be short. This is the maximum. Okay. Just see. Fractional shortening is 11.7. 26 is the ejection fraction. Still the diastolic. Yeah, that's not right. Fractional shortening, what does it tell? It, it's just again uh, okay. a fraction of the uh, you know, taking from the systolic from diameter divided by the, 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 the yeah, correct. So it's an indication of your EF again. Uh, English <laughs> makes me crazy. Yeah. English makes you crazy. Oh, I do ribs. 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 I Look, 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 ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
like that. Or you want to go deeper and medially? Yeah, like that. Okay. The direction is completely different. Like that. Like that. Okay. And like that, it's not uh, like that. It's like that. Deeper and medium. Ontario and lateral. Okay. Yeah. And if I want to go to the, 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 sorry, the control lateral, just I will uh, take the needle out. Just uh, just two minutes, two minutes, yeah. two minutes, yeah. and then left. make it in the right direction. Only direction only. Yeah. No, I will not advance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You will advance, you will advance um, one or two centimeters. I use a five five centimeter needle, and I usually use three or four centimeters. Yeah. Rotate your arm outwards. And just keep that out as far as you can. So here, all this, and you can scan it in different planes, is part of the joint uh, surface of the uh, humeral head. Okay. And if you then bring your arm back and up. So with the uh, internal rotation you can see the posterior aspects if you're looking for any arthritic changes. If you're looking for a labral tear, sometimes you see right on the edge here, right there, you can sometimes make out that there's a tear uh, in the labrum, um, but you need the right sort of scanning and the right person to sort of fit and match to see that. But that's it, that's a supraspinatus underneath the deltoid on top. If you go across the other way, you've got the AC joint there. Okay, carry on, you've got the clavicle. Okay. So what you can do uh, here with impingement, you can actually get them to move that arm out and then down. And you can see what's happening in the area and sometimes you can find little bits of calcification that then gets caught. So either rotation or if you want to look at the subscapularis, sorry, supraspinatus, um, then you can actually see it, see it coming under the acromion uh, in that narrow gap in the space there. Something else coming from inside the joint. So you're like me, aren't you? you sort of have the little finger for yeah. yeah. And she's probably a little bit higher. I would, I would so now that's that's the biceps. That's the biceps tendon. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's the interval. So the biceps tendon. You've got something else coming from inside the joint. So you're like me, and you sort of have the little finger for yeah, yeah. And she's probably a little bit higher. I would, I would. So now that's that's the biceps. That's the biceps tendon. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's the interval. So the biceps tendon. You've got under, so you probably won't see that. Yeah, the interval's right in, yeah, as far in as you can go. This is the supraspinatus. That's the That's the supraspinatus. Yeah. That's the yeah. whole muscle. Yeah. That's all supraspinatus. Supraspinatus. Yeah. Then, uh, so the only area that, that you're actually ever interested in when you're scanning the rotator cuff is this. And it, now if she bring her hand, in now if you're it will be the axis. Yeah, long axis, and that's it, that's it, you want to see. Now so put your hand back in your pocket, You want sorry. to look, <laughs> and that's where you get the most pathology, uh, I would say, that gets missed, because it's a complex area. Sorry. Now, uh, some step up. And you can then start looking at the curve. Now, here, we have the trachea, the medial, is coming up, and you have the only step there. This is intended, and this right area would be the common, the inner collateral. Okay, so when you do injection now, you want to slow again, that's where you find the attachment of the, of the common flexion. If I made it in front of the finish, until one left. Yeah, the medium nerve and the elbow is medium to the brachial artery. Mm. Very good. So now you can do, do it longitudinally. Turn the probe 90 degrees. Find the, 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 the right next to me. Yes. And then the medium nerve right yes. off. Okay. You see that that's a tendon. That's all tendon. Where's the nerve? Find me the nerve. No. No. I'm moving until you find it. Mm -hmm. This one is here, see? Yeah. Only the, only the, yeah. 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 Only the,
more comfortable. Because basically, what we can do is superficial is more comfortable. And then, wait. Yeah. Uh, you will see the tendon there. Wait. Yeah. That's the ECU, external vocality. So, and then you see. There. There's a tendon. See it in the middle? Yes. Surrounded yes. by the tendon sheath? Yeah. If you have a decurvin stenosynovitis, it's going to be very, very thick in the tendon, and the, and the tendon sheath is going to be very swollen. Yeah. It's transparent. Exactly. This is a Let's get a good view. It's difficult from this position. There it is. You see? There. See the tendon? Yes. Sliding back and forth. The black. Exactly. Yeah. And that's it. Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. Just move the probe, you can you can turn the probe like there you go until you find it. But this is a flat one and I need to see the curve. There. Here. This is gonna be the attachment. You're gonna see a hyperechoic uh, the ulnar collateral ligament and north uh, uh, proximal superficial to that you're going to see the common flexor extended. I need to see a little bit better picture of the of the uh, medial epicondyle of the bony surface which is the attachment. And the infus is very good. There you go. Yeah, but I need to see more of a slide all the way down if possible. No, you're going too far underneath now. I'll come up a little bit, more medial. There. And I'll keep until you see a nice curve here. There you go. And so here we start seeing the ulnar collateral ligaments and the attachment of the common flexor tendons right there. Okay? Um, carpal tunnel. Okay? You have two, uh, four layers, four and four. Uh, flexor digitalis profundus and superficialis, and on top of them is the medial. No, longitudinal. No. Longitudinal, you need to find the, the palmaris longus, and then on top it's not going to be moving yet. Then it looks like the nerve is here. Let's see if you can get a uh, more clear image. Go a little bit more radial towards the radial. There you go. Ah, that's all tendon, that's all tendon. Find me a clear view of the median nerve. Keep playing. Very good. You're right on the carpal tunnel. There you go. It looks like the nerve is right here, but you, I still ha I still haven't seen a perfect image of the nerve. Uh, inject intravenously. The patient complained about uh, uh, small signs, you know, tingling, mm. uh, paresthesia on the mm. tongue, whatever, everything. Mm. This is possible. But as, again, as I said to you this morning, the use of ultrasound not eliminate but decrease really dramatically yeah. the yeah. incidence of intravenous injection. So. Step after step, I think that the the recommendation that you should never use uh, 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 important concerning many intravenous and uh, after neuropathy and all that. Yeah. Uh, because my colleagues they are in, in, they said in the UK or Australia, it is the routine practice. They do all the yeah. energy. I know, I know that, and so also no, also in US, yeah. I, 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 uh, etc. Yeah. During all the morning, I was in the in the all the two mornings, I was in the in the hospital, mm -hmm. I see probably 80% of the patient anesthetized when they receive the rock. You oh. know? So mm -hmm. at the end, good, 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 okay, good. no, it's only, it's only for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you. I think you have a new we have, to, we have to deal with. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. yeah. Okay. Sir, okay. Sir. Thank Thanks. you very much. Sir. Do you want a water or juice or something? Uh, some water, it's possible. Yeah. Creating both components at that level, and after the paranormal seizes, oh, this is definitely separated. But here, here, there is a paranormal sheath. Here, paranormal hip at this level. Okay, this artery in vein. Um, and after, I can, if I want, follow the nerve here. Okay. Again, I can go to the. Uh, quite flat. This one. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, you see the nerve here? Mm -hmm. So if I have that, for instance, I will still keep on Yeah, absolutely. So because because the image, it's very very important. You 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 continue to follow the two components, mm -hmm. despite the fact that I have uh, I am in the middle middle of the site here. You can follow the co two components. So again, if I can go, it will be a little bit. Complicated because it's more than yeah. Okay, so I want to go here only. Okay, whatever. What is this? Uh, I, I think it's more vessel. Yeah, I have to see what if it is a sural part. I think it's very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I have to see if it is a super. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a perfect show, so I can see that. It's, it's, it's a middle, it's a middle part, so it, it's com not compressive, so definitely it's a little bit compressive. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a vessel. vessel. It's a vessel. It's a vessel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I will block here, for instance. Okay, just here, just before. Okay, can we... Okay. So here, I, I will begin here. Okay, good. If I want to see, you imagine that the patient say, okay, I suffer, I suffer from a foot drop syndrome. Okay, so that we will have with that is the three plants. So transverse, sagittal, corner, okay, or frontal, okay, so the plain view. And after that, they try to rebuild again the these three image in one third uh, fourth image which is the 3d image okay but you will see that it's not so simple because these probe have been created for hobby <coughs> and you know that for hobby obstetrics oh. and you know that for hobby the baby is surrounded by water so it's very easy to distinguish between the water and the baby. So r really easy. The other use is for cardiac image and rebuilding of the valves, for instance, and something like that. But again, the valve is surrounded by blood. So the blood, it's fully hypoechoic. So every hyperechoic structures will be highlight from the hypoechoic environment. Okay, this is clear. The problem of this environment here is that it is very difficult to distinguish the echogenicity of the nerves from the echogenicity from the muscle, from the fat, from the fascias. So the, the values of the echogenicity are quite close. You have differences, but quite close, you know? And, and so it's very difficult to highlight the nerve at that moment. And the reason why I show uh, you this morning with this kind of probe that you're, you will be able to separate, for instance, and rebuild and separate the nerve, and you will see probably better the nerve when the local anesthetic separate them and surround the nerve, because the local anesthetics, by definition, is hypoechoic, mm -hmm. and the hypoechoic spread separates very rapidly the hyperechoic image from the nerve, okay? The reason why it's, it's uh, a little bit... Okay. And, and then... Inside oh. the needle around here. We'll oh, take so the that that here. The needle coming from here, you, you can in make an insertion. Okay. okay. Just on the line. So, okay. Uh, we're not uh, confident you can uh, you know, mark, mark, yeah. mark it and uh, you know, mark up. Marker. Okay. That's how we do it. Hmm. Okay. You use, you use the, the, the shadow of the process? You have to do is type of equal to two line structure. Yes, you're seeing one of them. You yeah. can catch. Turn on the left side, okay? And then I go slowly down, slowly down. Okay, like that. That's my. That's the place. Okay? You don't understand anything? I can understand. So now you're going to understand. You're going to understand because I'm here. It's nice and it's not moving at all. I am at the top of the posterior superior iliac spine. Okay? I will put my prop slowly down. That and it's here. Okay? So if I have the two bones arriving at the same level, between you will have the ligament and you will have the V where you do your injection. Extremely easy. So as you understood now on the model, on the phantom, you will understand on the image, okay? 